I had an opportunity to uh, visit the uh, African American Museum in Washington, D.C. this week. And as a part of the exhibit, um, they, they showed this, this picture of, of a woman and uh, some men. They were actually separating a family during slavery. And, uh, and this mother, she took it upon herself um, to kill her three-year-old so that she wouldn't have to endure the pain of living in this country, the great United States of America. And so I know people talk about rape, they talk about incest, but there are some women who make the choice of abortion so that their child doesn't have to live in this country. That's a reality. And some of you all think, oh no, why would anybody make that choice? Representative Sykes talked about how many of you all will never have to walk in our shoes of understanding what it is to be black in America. When you walk in a room and sometimes your presence disgusts people. And so if a mother decides, whatever that case may be, to end her child's life, to abort a fetus, that has nothing to do with you. It's none of your business. A lot of people here do not care about, about just the existence of people. I mean, we talk about this infant mortality and, and the difference um, just in African Americans. It doesn't matter about if you have a lot of money, you don't have any money. It is the stress and the pressure of just existing in the United States of America. It is stressful. It is hard. And a lot of y'all don't understand it. You will never understand it. And it is not your right nor your responsibility to tell a woman what she can do. You just can't do it. And then the fact, like she talked about civil rights, stop saying that, like for real. Stop saying it. Like, no, I'm serious, it's offensive. Just stop saying it. We talk about the Constitution. The Constitution wasn't made for a woman like me. All our founding fathers who were, a lot of them were very racist. They raped black women. Black women didn't have the, the, the ability to make the choices for themselves. And you all throw this stuff out here to, 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 to just advance your cause. Stop it. Like, talk about the facts that works for you all, but stop using the people that I'm, the community that I'm a part of to advance your cause. Don't do that. Use, use the folks, J just stop. I really, cause I'm, I'm I, it's offensive. It really is offensive. Talk about your so, social responsibility and all that other stuff, but don't use my face. Don't, don't use the people that I come from, the struggle that I'm a part of to advance your agenda. Do not do that. I don't do it for yours. I will never do that. Cause I don't know what it is to be a white woman in America. I don't know what it is to be a white woman, my, white man in America, but I doggone sure know what it is to be a black woman in America. So with all of this, like I said, for my colleagues that conveniently use civil rights and the plight of black women, I, I appreciate it, but no thanks. No thanks. Don't do that. These are two totally different subjects. And on the basis of that, I would strongly recommend and urge the people of this body to, to reject this amendment.